What's going on guys? It's Trey Mathis here from WifiEntrepreneur.com. So glad to see you guys landing here on my page today. It's another beautiful day here in Washington, DC. I want to quickly shoot this video together just to catch you guys up what's been going on in the last 48 hours, or excuse me, 24 hours. Let's go ahead and get started. This is Wi-Fi Journal. Hey guys, if this is your first time checking us out, this on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or even on our blog, make sure that you subscribe to our pages, make sure you remain in contact with us. We're here to help you turn your passion to profit, learn how to launch a profitable business online so that you can make money online. Uh, any niche, or whatever you're passionate about, that's what we're here to help you achieve. I know it's very hard to hear that. I know there's a lot of people out there who like to talk about how they can help you make money online. However, what I try to accomplish here in these videos is to share with you the step-by-step -step process that has taken me, a uh, day-to-day process that has taken me in order to accomplish the goals uh, so that you can at least uh, see that it's possible. Uh, I'm still in the works of building that overall brand for our entrepreneur, seeing how large it can truly be. With, still in the very early stages of it. However, some of the disciplines that we've picked up along the way will remain for years to come. They worked uh, in the very beginning. They're gonna work five years down the line. Of course, there may be new things introduced into the marketplace uh, that may also help us leverage our brand, leverage our voice to the outside world, you know, like TikTok. I'm pretty sure you guys heard of the social media platform TikTok. That's fairly new. If you were really an Instagram savvy individual where you were doing a lot of your promotions and running a business, an influence business on Instagram. In the event every, all your fan base moved to TikTok, how can you retain it? Well, one, you need to make sure that you're willing to learn, willing to grow, willing to adapt into the new uh, marketplace. But more importantly, you want to make sure that you're working some of the disciplines and techniques that will remain even long after some of the social media fads break out or fall apart. So we've been talking about a lot of those different uh, other avenues in which you can market your business oh, in our conversations. And today I want to kind of catch up with another piece of what I've been doing in the off season, call it the off season because I was shooting these videos practically every day. And then I hit about a nine to 10 month pause uh, my wife had a baby, my wife and I had a baby, it was fantastic. I devoted a lot of time to there, to more training, understanding, uh, getting a better understanding on some of the things that would work long term so it wouldn't necessarily require so much long term effort like these videos do. Uh, the videos is something that I'm really passionate about so it's an effort that I'm willing to put forth. However, uh, I want to ensure that the videos and the work that's putting being put out has the opportunity to get uh, a high reward return back. So uh, I wanted to make sure that I sharpen some of my outside skills, outside the video, sharpen some of those skills, blog writing, et cetera. Blog writing, guest posting, social media influencing, campaigning, running campaigns throughout social media, becoming a social influencer, things like that. Um, those are some of the things that we've been working on, learning, sharpening up, and we'll talk about a lot of those moving forward in some of the uh, later videos. But what I want to talk about, one of the things that I kind of fell off in the last 10 months, but I really just got back on, and that's really my personal development. If you guys have been uh, to wifientrepreneur.com, then you guys know that our website is broken down in three sections, personal development being the first, next being, uh, steps to start a business or how to make money online and then last and not last but not least investing uh, my, my belief is is that you if you get your mind right through personal development in the first stage it'll put you in a better position to rent win long term with your business and then once you get a successful business going on where you're generating uh, consistent profits you can then turn those profits and into investment opportunities. So basically take those profits, put them in towards some investing, different investing opportunities that allow you to compound your profits, okay? That's what I really like about it. If you look at it uh, in a conventional way, if you were working a nine to five job, you'd be taking those nine to five job uh, income, that income, and then turning, putting it towards investment. Well, 
What I'm saying is take that nine to five income, put it towards your business, let your business start to generate a profit, and then take that profit and then put it towards an investment opportunity that allows you to continue to grow that wealth long term. So that's kind of the strategy, the format in which we follow here at wifeentrepreneur.com. Uh, in the last 10 months, I've fallen out of step one, and that's probably why the videos began to fall off also, because again, I believe you have to start your personal development and all the other things kind of fall in place after that. Um, however, in the last few weeks, I've been working very diligently to listen to my personal development videos, I mean, my personal development videos, audios, uh, YouTubes, etc. Uh, to recharge that part of uh, my life uh, and I know that is because of that those uh, re re-implementing those strategies of getting personal development early on early on in the morning that has put me in a position now to feel confident uh, to be in front of the camera again to, to know that you know the challenges are going to come you know it's going to be days you don't feel like it you know there's, there's your, you're gonna you're gonna have you're gonna you're gonna say uhs and ums and stutter and stop and fumble over your words and miss say things in the very beginning. But if you can continue on doing and practicing the things that you enjoy doing, the things that you're passionate about, you're only gonna get better. The only way that you're gonna get better at anything is to continue to practice, practice, practice. Michael Jordan didn't become the best basketball player ever because he didn't practice. If you're a LeBron James and you say, well, LeBron James is the best basketball player, it doesn't matter. He didn't do it without practicing. This guy's been in the league forever. He's been playing since high school, you know, probably been playing since he was, you know, a little, little, little bit. That's practice, nonstop practice, continually practice every single day, uh, getting better, sharpening skills. You know what? What I think is fascinating about uh, basketball and they talk about the world greatest and we give these people millions and millions of dollars uh, to, to, per, to entertain us is that the free throw line for example is the same it never changes same free throw line so if you wanted to be good in basketball or if you were a professional athlete and you want to sharpen your skills you can stand at that exact same line that LeBron shoots at and just practice keep shooting the exact same free throw, the exact same free throw line that he has. Nothing changes. The ball, same. Free throw line, same. All you have to do is sharpen your skills, and the only way you can sharpen your skills is to continue to practice. So this is my free throw line. I'm here practicing every day, sharpening my skills, sharpening my skills, in hopes that when you guys see me down the line in the league, you be like, well, look, I understand why he's done so well because he practiced. So personal development, getting your mind right, getting your mind sharp is so important to help you gain that belief, that faith, that faith to believe that what you're, you're, you're hoping for is possible for you. Uh, and then again, once you believe it, you got to go and practice it. You got to get better at it every single day. The way you're going to become the best and the way that people are going to recognize you as the best is if you took the time to practice, to sharpen your skills, to make yourself the best. So that's really all I wanted to share today. Uh, just really in the gym practicing, just in the makeshift studio that I put right here in my home, just so I can get in front of the camera and practice. So I'm going to leave it there. I look forward to talking with you guys again real soon. So until we talk again, take care and be blessed. Peace.